Well, hello there. It's that time again. It's time for the blog that truly blazes. Today's date, December the 16th of 2011, here live at my home away from home, Modern Zen. We're going to have a good time today. We're going to look at the cards, uh, the last card from last week, look at the energy we're coming into now, and what lies ahead of us in the very near future at the end of this upcoming week. So it's going to be an interesting ride. Do strap in your seatbelt and get ready to rumble. Okay, the last card of last week's reading, the first card of this week's reading, is entitled Lust. Known as strength in the rider way to row, it represents our empowerment, our ability to be strong, our ability to stand up for ourselves and express ourselves creatively. So having gotten out of Mercury retrograde, having survived that, we dust ourselves off and we prepare for new, exciting, and empowering things. And I'm certainly excited about this upcoming year. I see a lot, a lot of really good stuff happening because I'm going to make it happen. And you have the power to do that too. And that's what this card is all about. Okay, the energy we're coming into now is just as strong, if not stronger. The Ace of Swords is the card whose energy we're coming into now. The Ace of Swords represents independence, represents cutting away from things that we don't need in our lives. Again, more purification, but on the mental plane, it's cleansing our thoughts. It's asserting ourselves, it's like raising up the sword and saying, Yada hey. We can do our will. We can do what we want to do. We have more freedom. Things are opening up. Uh, this next week is going to be interesting. We have the moon going into Libra, which corresponds to this air energy, to the Ace of Swords. And then, at the very end of the week, uh, around next Thursday, the 22nd, we're going to go into the winter solstice, shortest day of the year, the sun enters Capricorn. And as a matter of fact now, that's actually reflected in our next card. Okay, so our third and final card of the week is going to be the Princess of Discs. Now, traditionally, she's not attributed to Capricorn. That would be the Queen of Discs. But I'll tell you what, close enough. This is an energy that manifests in reading. She comes off as a woman who's very strong, very independent, very empowered. Somebody with a lot of charisma that just naturally can put together a business and bring things in. Ooh, gives me chills thinking about it because I've got all kinds of plans coming up for this upcoming year, all kinds of new things I'm getting into, and if you're not excited about your life, hey, this is the time to get excited. we got a great thing coming up this next year. Don't be scared of 2012. Any shaking and baking that goes on, it's going to make you free. It's going to give you power. It's going to get you places that you haven't been before, and that's always something to be excited about. So there you have it. There's our blog that truly blazes, and this week it did blaze. Some great positive energy. I love you. I appreciate you watching this blog. And until I see you next week, right before Christmas, happy holidays and many blessings.